speak with the North Haven fire chief a few minutes ago. He says, unfortunately, he can confirm that that firefighter that was taken to the hospital with serious injuries has died from those injuries. Now, he cannot say exactly what happened or how that firefighter was injured, but he did tell us that the firefighter was outside of the house whenever he sustained those injuries. He said he really couldn't get into any sort of detail at this time. He is not releasing the name of that firefighter either. He says the family has been notified, but he wants to make sure that all of the North Haven firefighters are not waking up to the name of that news this morning. He says he wants to be able to tell them himself, so they will be able to tell us that name in a couple of hours. But what he would say is that that firefighter has been with the department for more than two decades. He says that he's been a firefighter that's a member of that department for as long as he can remember, and it's somebody that is everybody's friend. He said he's leaving behind a wife and a man that is someone who is so happy to be at work every day, is so happy to be around his co-workers, and he says this is a massive loss for everybody involved today. He says that North Haven, New Haven, East Haven, Hamden, and Wallingford were all here this morning, but all of those except for North Haven will be in this area working today. He said they have all come in and donated their services so that these North Haven firefighters can grieve the loss of their friend and co-worker. He says this is something that has really impacted their department, somebody that everybody knew very, very well, and they are really grieving and hurting this morning. He said, along with the loss of that firefighter, unfortunately, it was a loss of a home as well. 13 people have been displaced, which is almost everybody in this apartment building here. He says all of the units have some sort of damage from this fire. He says it was very extensive. They were very aggressive with their firefighting, but he says all in all, the day after Christmas, this is extremely sad for this community and for this fire department because it's something that they will have to grieve and something that is very hard just a few hours after spending so much time with each other yesterday. Live in North Haven, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61 News.